Welcome to General Psychology. I'm Ryan Keith. Crazy people and degree requirements. That's what most people are thinking about when they sign up for general psychology. Now, of course, if you satisfy the requirements for this class, you're going to satisfy your degree requirements also. And of course, we're going to talk about crazy people, mental illness, and how to fix it in this class. But really, these things are only the smallest part of what psychology really is. This semester, you're going to learn all about the human mind, brain, and behavior. And in doing so, we're going to learn about all sorts of really surprising things. Things like how that world out there isn't at all the world you think it is. It doesn't look like that, it doesn't sound like that, and it doesn't work the way you think it works. We're going to talk about how you aren't even who you think you are. That the idea that you have a personality at all, much less the one that you think you have, might all be in your imagination. We're going to talk about things like how money doesn't really work as a motivator and about how every time you try to convince somebody to change their mind and see things your way, you're really just convincing them to see things their way even more. We're going to talk about stuff like how babies are smarter than we give them credit for and we can see that if we just know how to ask the right questions and how, speaking of smartness, intelligence tests, IQ tests are really kind of broken and that the whole idea of intelligence might be broken too. Now, this version of general psychology is special because it's not your standard class where you sit in a classroom and you listen to me talk the whole time. This might be your first online class. It might be your hundredth online class. But either way, the principles are the same. One of the big things that makes this class different in being online is that it relies on you to keep track of you. You may have heard this before, but with this being an online class, you're required to spend at least nine hours a week working on this class for every hour you'd normally be in class, plus the extra three hours you'd be in class, which means that every single week you need to plan to spend about 12 hours working on this class, doing things like reading the textbook, watching videos, listening to podcasts, and completing assignments. In addition, you're going to want to make sure that you feel really solid on the Canvas platform, that you feel really good about how to access information in Canvas and get things done. Now, to help you get used to things like how to um, do well in Canvas, how to do well in this class, I've laid out a series of assignments, just like I'll have every single week, except that these ones are focused on doing well in this class. Um, as you complete those assignments, and they're listed right down below here. As you complete those assignments, you get a chance to try navigating around Canvas. If you ever get lost, just look up in the nav menu up here in the upper right hand corner and just click on home. You can come right back to this page. If you want to explore more of what we've got in Canvas, feel free to check out the modules page, feel free to check out grades, and um, feel free to go on over and look at the course syllabus and get an idea of what we're going to be doing for the next 12 weeks. So again, whether this is your first online class or your last one, whether you're a veteran Santa Fe student or just getting ready to get started here at Santa Fe, I'm excited to have you in the class and I'm looking forward to a really great semester. So get started on working on stuff. I'm looking forward to learning a lot of really exciting stuff with you.